Hey, this is Dr. Marisa Snyder, women's hormone expert, author, and the host of the Essentially You podcast. And today I'm going to show you how to flatten your blood sugar by combining foods and by dressing up your carbs. Now, what I'm going to be sharing with you today is going to be game changing, not only for your metabolism, but for your energy levels, your brain function, and also to help you maintain weight. And there's so many long-term benefits to the tools that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Now, the reason why this matters is that over 90% of us are experiencing blood sugar spikes and crashes. Now, when this happens, we will not only experience some short-term symptoms, I call it the roller coaster trifecta, where we're feeling hungry throughout the day, we've got killer cravings, and we have lagging energy. And we're kind of just chasing that next meal because our blood sugar is going up and down and up and down. Now, long-term concerns around this is an inflammatory response leading to metabolic dysfunction, potentially prediabetes and diabetes, cardiovascular disease, even dementia, Alzheimer's, really inflammatory conditions. And so the name of the game all the time is stabilizing your blood sugar. Now, what is considered a spike? A spike is anything over 140 milligrams per deciliter. And again, over 90% of us are seeing those on a frequent basis. Now, what we ideally want to see is when we combine foods or when we're eating a meal, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, that we're seeing a blood sugar around around 110 milligrams per deciliter or lower. That's the name of the game. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Now, what we've learned is that when it comes to consuming carbs, whether it's refined carbs or it's potatoes and rice or gluten-free bread, or even carbs in the form of fruit, like grapes or mango or banana, some of the more heavy laden fruit that we see blood sugar spikes. Now, everybody's body is different, but across the board, these tend to be the spikers, especially when they're consumed on their own. And that's why I always say, if you're going to have your dessert, don't have it at breakfast or don't have it on its own, have it after a meal where you have had those nutrient dense foods of protein, healthy fats, and fiber. So that's really the name of the game here is how can we combine foods so that we keep stable blood sugar all day long? So let's take lunch. For example, if you're going to have rice for lunch, how can we add some chicken, some veggies in the form of fiber, maybe even some nuts like cashews to keep your blood sugar stable. Because when we combine protein and fats, what happens with that carb is that it is slow to enter into the bloodstream, which doesn't cause that blood sugar spike, which is super, super important, right? What we eat protein and fats, we slow down our digestion, especially in our stomach. And it's very slow to get to the intestine and then also slower to get to the bloodstream. Now, when we consume fiber and I am a big fan of fiber, all the fiber, and I'm talking about lots and lots of veggies, um, nuts and seeds, but especially those veggies, fiber breaks down and kind of creates a gel like substance around the intestine, which again, reduces the amount of sugar hitting the bloodstream. And so when we're thinking about a meal, we want to make sure that we've got the protein, we've got the fats, we've got the fiber, and then we've got whatever carb we want. If you're having carbs for that meal. And then the other thing I want to share again, we don't ever want carbs to be naked. We always want to combine them dress them up, put a little clothes on them. And what we're talking about is protein, fat and fiber. So what I want to do is I want to share some concepts, especially either it's like a small lunch or a snack where you are dressing up those carbs to keep that blood sugar stable. Because remember the name of the game is stable blood sugar levels all day long. And most importantly, breakfast is probably one of the most important meals here. When you break your fast, you always want to break it with a savory meal, right? We don't want to set the tone for a blood sugar roller coaster throughout the day by having cornflakes with milk or by having a bagel with, with butter or by having a pastry of some kind or a bran muffin or an Asahi bowl or all fruit smoothie. All of these things are going to spike that blood sugar because they are not dressed up with protein, fat, or fiber. So here's some ideas just to kind of get a sense of things. So veggies with hummus, right? So a plethora of different types of veggies with hummus, you've got the healthy protein, the fats, you've got the fiber, stable blood sugar, avocado toast with salmon or eggs, maybe some tomato and microgreens. Again, you are keeping that blood sugar stable pasta with veggies and chicken, green smoothies with protein powder and almond butter, maybe some avocado, maybe even throw in some greens there to really keep it well, a green smoothie and to keep it stable. Um, fruit with Greek yogurt and almonds, and then rice with steamed veggies and protein. So again, there are so many things that we can combine here. And there's a lot of creativity that we can really create on our plate. But just note that 
you don't want to be eating those carbs naked because they just break down into the body really quickly. They break down through the stomach, to the intestine, to the bloodstream. And if there's nothing to blunt that, there's nothing to slow that down. We're going to see that blood sugar spike. And then we're going to see the crash. And so that's the name of the game here. And what you'll notice is over time, even over the course of seven to 14 days, as you begin to create more blood sugar loving meals. And again, when you are bringing in the fiber, gut loving, liver loving, hormone loving, it's all a win. Um, when you bring in those types of foods, um, you're going to notice more sustainable energy. You're going to notice that you aren't craving all the time, like sugar and salt. You're going to notice you don't even have late night cravings. You're also going to notice that your brain is just firing on all cylinders. And that is what we're looking for is that you're not feeling like you're chasing that next meal because you were so starving because you don't have any sustainable energy to pull from. And so if you are loving today's mini episode, um, definitely let me know, subscribe to the show. Um, and share it with somebody. If there's somebody who needs to hear this to keep it simple, let them know about it as well. And share with me like how you are dressing up your carbs and how you're combining your foods until the next episode. Have an amazing day.